Hey Ferret fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a popular trend in the pet tube community, and that is answering the most Googled ferret questions. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, consider becoming a member on the channel, and turning on your post notifications so you never miss a upload. If you're new here, hi, my name is Bryn. I'm an animal care content creator here on YouTube with over 15 years of experience caring for different types of animals. But mostly, I talk about ferrets here on this channel, and as always, my sources for this video will be linked below. So let's jump right into it. The first question that I googled was what do ferrets blank? And the first one that came up is eat. And this varies depending on who you ask, who the person is, because there are many ways that you can feed your ferret. Some people do raw meat, some people do dry food, wet food, air dried raw, freeze dried raw. It really depends, but to actually answer the question of what do ferrets eat, they eat meat and they are domesticated but the wild colonies in let's say New Zealand because they do have wild ferrets there they eat mostly rabbits hares amphibians lizards pretty much anything that they can get their little paws on depending on the season and their location and the second one kind of goes along with that and that is what do ferrets eat in the wild ferrets come from the wild polecat and they have been observed to eat the same sort of things that the wild colonies do in New Zealand a lot of amphibians lizards Birds, fish, uh, rabbits, small birds. And again, it totally depends on the time of year, what is available, how desperate they are. If you go to my video titled, What Do Ferrets Eat? I have a more in-depth explanation of this. Third one is, what do ferrets smell like? Now this is obviously subjective. Some people think that ferrets smell absolutely disgusting. Some people actually really enjoy the smell and I happen to be one of those people. And again, it varies greatly depending on who is caring for that ferret, the health of the ferret, how they're being kept, essentially. I also have a video entirely dedicated to the subject of ferret smell, so make sure you go check that out. But in general, I mean, I really enjoy my ferret smell. A lot of people will say otherwise, but they kind of smell like an old attic, like at your grandparents' house. An old attic with a musk of dried urine. The next one, what do ferrets like? This varies depending on the ferret, of course. They all have different things that they like. I find that a lot of ferrets enjoy playing in tunnels, in tubes. They like cat wand toys to chase around. Sometimes they like belly rubs and head scratches. Some of them really like to play certain games. Many ferrets love to play outside safely. They love to dig in soils and explore in the forest. If I were to choose one thing for each of my ferrets that they really like, it would be Patsu stashing his toys, that is his most favorite favorite thing to do. Howl's most favorite thing is his bumblebee wubba toy. Momo's is stashing food and Appa's is like bundled up uh, socks and Tanji's is definitely eating. The next one asks what do ferrets need? They need the basic living essentials such as food, shelter, and water. They also need a lot of room to exercise and roam outside of their cage. They need attention and love just like your dogs and your cats do as well. The next one is interesting. It just asks, what do ferrets drink? And the obvious answer to that is water. <laughs> what do ferrets look like? To me, the animal that ferrets remind me the most of other than the obvious like otter and weasels, an animal that is not a part of the Mustelidae family would have to be bears. They remind me so much of bears. Um, just the way that their face is shaved with the round ears, their hunched backs, the way that they walk, the way that their paw pads look like. Everything about them just reminds me of a bear. And they are actually closer related to bears than they are dogs and cats. Many people say that they look like cats mixed with a snake. I guess that works as well. But to me, they remind me most of a bear. I'm sorry if you can hear Tanji playing in the rice box. I didn't want to stop his play. He is super adorable. So you're going to have to deal with that. But the next question that I looked up is why do ferrets blank? And the first one is, of course, why do ferrets stink? Again, I have an entire video on the subject of ferret smell, so go check that out. But Mother Nature created them as very stinky animals as a defense mechanism, a way of marking their territory and communicating with other ferrets. Domestic ferrets may smell more due to poor diet, not enough exercise, just unhealthy living conditions. Tanji, really? <laughs> Along with being bathed way too much, this will contribute to overall bad smell. 
Sanji. I had to grab the boy who was being too loud. The heck was that? Okay, let's try and film the rest of this video, shall we? As I was saying, domestic ferrets will smell more depending on how they are cared for. The better you care for them, the less smell you're gonna get. The second one, why do ferrets bite? Ferrets use their mouths and their teeth to communicate with other ferrets and yourself. They can't speak our language, so this is all they can really do to express their emotions. If you want to learn more about bite training, if your ferrets are just biting way too hard for you and you don't know how to help it, I have a video on bite training on my channel, and also go check out the YouTube channel Duke Soul. They are a brand new ferret channel here on YouTube and she talks a lot about how to train your ferrets not to bite. The next one says, why do ferrets shake? This is a good question and not something that I've really talked much about on my channel. Uh, ferrets might shake for a couple different reasons. First one that comes to my head first is right when they wake up. Sometimes ferrets will shake to warm up their bodies back to normal again. Um, sometimes they will do it during a meal when they're very excited. If you notice your ferrets shaking in any other situation, they might either be very frightened or they could be very ill. So make sure that you check with your veterinarian if you are unsure. Why do ferrets steal? So this is a instinctual practice built into their DNA. This is what polecats do, wild weasels do, they all do this. They can be very possessive of their stuff in the wild. And that kind of translates into the way that they are now in our homes. They will steal household objects, their own toys, their food, pretty much anything to save for later to protect it from other ferrets and yourself. And you'll notice if you move their stash spot while they're watching you doing this, they might be very visibly stressed out. They might start pacing back and forth, waiting for you to put down their stuff. I personally try not to discourage this behavior because it is built into their DNA and I realize how stressed out they could be if I just continuously stopped them from performing their natural behaviors. So I do allow them to stash around the house. I just make sure to clean every single day. Why do ferrets hiss? I talk about this in my ferret behavior video, so be sure to go check that out as well. But ferrets hiss for a variety of different reasons. During play, they're mad, they're just overstimulated. Why do ferrets dead sleep? As far as I know, there are no scientific studies done on why ferrets dead sleep. It's just something that they do. Um, usually not a cause for concern. If you notice that your ferret is doing this, just make sure to check that they're breathing still, that they're warm still. I personally have only witnessed this twice uh, while having ferrets, one time with Howl and then another time with Appa, um, but they've woken up very quickly right after. Next popular question that I looked up is, are ferrets blank? And the first one is, are ferrets legal in New York City? And the answer is no. Ferrets are not legal to own in New York City. They are considered an invasive species. And according to the New York City Department of Health, it says ferrets are known for their unpredictable behavior and they are prone to vicious, unprovoked attacks on humans. Ferret attacks reported nationwide over time have become notorious for their severity and capriciousness, causing serious injuries to some infants and young children in particular. Now, I obviously don't agree with any of that. I think that that same exact statement could be said about other animals, dogs, cats. I mean, how many incidences have there been with dogs and children. Of course, most of the time it is not the dog's fault, but I mean, if that's their reasoning and same with cats, cats have attacked multiple children unprovoked seemingly, but this statement just paints ferrets in such a negative light. Um, it is really awful to say that they are uh, prone to vicious unprovoked attacks on humans. It makes them sound like some sort of crazy wild animal, which they are not. They also say in New York City's multiple dwelling residences, which are not natural habitats of ferrets, a ferret could crawl through holes in walls or travel through risers or ducts to other apartments with potentially tragic consequences for the neighbor of a ferret owner. This makes it sound like a ferret is going to crawl into your neighbor's house and kill your child. It, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Can it happen? I mean, sure, but it's more likely going to happen with a dog or a cat. Regardless, this is the law in New York City, so be sure that you are following that. The next one is, are ferrets good pets? Of course, this depends on who you ask, but to me, they are good pets. Do I think that they're good pets for everyone? Absolutely not. I do believe that they can be amazing pets for the right people. I don't think that they make good pets for people who work really long hours, who go to school full time every day, who just aren't 
around all the time. People who move or vacation a lot, they might not be good pets for. Are ferrets legal in New York? Ferrets are legal in New York State, just not New York City. I live in New York State and ferrets are perfectly legal up here. There are many places that you can adopt ferrets here in New York. So if you do live in New York State and not the city and you're looking for a pair of ferrets, check out my shelter directory list down in the description of this video. Are ferrets rodents? This is an easy one. Ferrets are not rodents. They eat rodents. They are actually mustelids along with badgers, otters, and mink. Are ferrets nocturnal? I actually hear this one a lot. A lot of people think that ferrets are nocturnal. While there are a lot of mustelids in their family that might be not more nocturnal or more diurnal, there are also some that are crepuscular and that's something that kind of suits a ferret more than being nocturnal and diurnal because ferrets are just awake whenever the heck they want to be kind of like you and I. Are ferrets legal in New Jersey? As far as I know, they are legal in New Jersey. I do believe that you need a permit to have ferrets in New Jersey. The next question that I asked Google is, should ferrets blank? Should ferrets be pets? I mean, <laughs> certain animal rights groups and whatnot believe that no animal should be a pet to a human. Um, so that's totally up to whoever you're asking. They are domesticated though, so it's not like we're taking a wild animal from their habitat and making them be our pets. Should ferrets eat cat food? A lot of these questions, the answer is gonna be, it depends. But for cat food, it really does depend because some might be better than others. Some might be grocery store brand like Meow Mix, or some might be a little bit high quality like Zeewee Peak, that is considered cat food. My beliefs are a ferret's diet should not be processed foods, but many people out there do feed their ferrets processed foods and that's totally their decision. Technically, yes, ferrets can eat certain cat foods. I do have a chart that I made that lists the dry foods commonly fed to ferrets, so go check that out in the description of this video. Should ferrets wear collars? This is a good one. I don't believe that ferrets should have collars on all day. I think that maybe putting on a cute collar for like a photo shoot is totally okay, but not for daily living. This is because collars can get stuck on things, strangle them potentially if you're not watching them. Most of the time ferrets slip out of their collars anyways, so there's really no reason for you to put a collar on a ferret long term. Should ferrets be in pairs? Yes. Ferrets are social animals. It is scientifically proven domesticated ferrets are social animals and thrive in groups. I do have an entire video on the subject, so go check that out, but ferrets are social. Will there be exceptions? Absolutely, but in general, ferrets should have companionship. Should ferrets be kept in cages? Now this question is a little vague. Does it mean should ferrets be kept in cages all the time? In which case, absolutely not. Or should ferrets be kept in cages for part of the time, which sure, this can be done. Ferrets are not caged animals. They should not be caged full time. Make sure you're providing the bare minimum of six hours out of the cage every single day. Of course, aim for much higher than that. Keeping ferrets in cages full time is considered animal cruelty. So be sure that you are not doing this or someone that you know is not doing this because a lot of people don't actually know this. Sometimes it's hard to figure out fact from fiction when it comes to animal care. The next one I typed in is do ferrets blank. Do ferrets shed? Ferrets actually do shed and more during certain times of the year when they're shedding their summer coat into fall and then when they are shedding their winter coat into summer. Do ferrets like water? Yes, ferrets do like to drink water and some of them like to play in water. The water should always be shallow and make sure that you're not forcing your ferrets to do things that they don't want to do. Ferrets cannot consent to being put in pools or bodies of really deep water to the point where they can't touch the bottom and they actually have to swim. They can't consent to this, so I suggest that you don't do that. Do ferrets eat mice? Absolutely. Ferrets can eat mice and it's actually a very, very healthy part of their diet if you do choose to feed whole prey animals. It may require some convincing like it does with feeding raw in general. They can and they do eat mice. Why can't ferrets blank? The first thing that comes up is a little concerning to me and that is why can ferrets eat fruit when it really should be why can't ferrets eat fruit? Ferrets can eat fruit because they are not herbivores, they are not omnivores, they are not even technically a carnivore. They are an obligate carnivore which is different from that of a carnivore. They cannot adequately digest things like grains, 
fruits and vegetables. And a lot of the times, this is just way too much sugar for the ferret's body and can contribute to many metabolic diseases. Why can't you have ferrets in California? So I'm sure it's the same probably reasoning as to why you can't have them in New York City. Why can't you have ferrets in Queensland? So when I Googled this myself because I didn't know off the top of my head why they are illegal in Queensland, it's because they are a biosecurity risk as they are carriers of bovine tuberculosis and are of vicious nature when in the wild. That's quite interesting, but that is why they are illegal in Queensland. Thank you for tuning in for today's video and thank you to our channel members. I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye guys.